afternoon. I am Andrea with Happy Club Creations, and I'm jumping on today because our next quilt along will be starting in two weeks on April 7th. So I just wanted to touch bases with you guys all in this group to see how things are going with you. Um, I hope everybody is well and staying safe. Um, my kids are home from school until April 24th at least. We'll see. They may end up um, canceling school altogether. I don't know yet. Um, but we're trying to stay positive and make the most of it. Um, we're still all healthy, so that's good. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, in the group a few weeks ago, we did a poll to see what pattern you guys wanted to use as the next quilt along. And you guys chose the Rainier Echoes quilt pattern. I plan on using, um, I'm going to be making the throw size, but since it's a multi-size pattern, you guys can choose whatever size you'd like to do. It comes in baby, which is 40 by 40, toddler, 48 by 48, throw, 64 by 64, large throw, 80 by 80, queen, 96 by 96, and king, 112 by 112. So basically the design, um, everybody will only have nine blocks. So the bigger the quilt, the bigger the blocks, which is awesome. So you can make a king size in the same time that I make my baby size or my throw size. So that's pretty cool. Um, I did order a few more of these paper patterns this morning because I'm down to like 13. Um, and I just wanted to make sure there was enough for everyone. The pattern will be 25% off until April 7th. That's the first day of the quilt along. That's the day we'll start cutting pieces. Um, it's also available on digital form as well. Um, so far, our mail system is still up and running. Last night, we got the order to shelter in place. So I'm trying not to leave the house as much as possible. But dropping patterns off at the post office isn't a big deal because... I can, um, I have stamps and everything, so I don't even need to go into the post office, which is nice. Um, and digital is a great option too. Um, so I plan on using the, doing the throw size. I know a couple people have already posted their fabric. I need to take a photo of mine so I can post. Um, if you haven't seen my blog post, this time around I'm actually doing sponsors. So I'm hoping that the mail system still is in place when the quilt along um, starts, because a few of those sponsors have sent me their packages. So their packages are in my sewing room and waiting to be shipped out to the um, prize winners. So each week, um, basically, if you participate in the quilt along, if you post your progress picture, you will be entered into the giveaway for that week's prize. Um, It'll be a combination of people that are participating in this quilt along group and the people that are participating in using the hashtag on Instagram. So if you post on Instagram and in the Facebook quilt along group, you'll have two entries. Um, so one of the prize prizes is from Stash Fabric. They're giving a um, mystery bundle of Kona Cottons. And they're also off offering every participant a 10% off coupon code, which is listed in my blog post. And there's a link to Stash Fabric in my blog post. Um, the coupon code is welcome to stash. And if you use that, you get 10% off anything in their shop. Um, this month, their sell, they, every month they have a basic sell. And this month, their sell was on um, Dear Stella. So I picked out some Dear Stella fabrics for the quilt I'll be making for the quilt on. Um, I wrote down the colors if you guys were interested. The links are also in my blog post. So this one is called um, Moonscape in Lemon. And then this one, if you can see, it has a little bit of design on it. It's called Dash Flow in Blueprint. And then the white is Scallop Dot, dot in White. And then the bright blue is a um, Moonscape in Dressin. I just love the way um, yellow looks with blues. So I thought it would be fun to do a dark navy with a bright yellow and then this bright blue and white. Um, this is not a typical color combo that I usually use, but I thought it would be fun 
to use something new. Um, if you guys jump on, say hi. I see a few people on there, but you haven't said hi yet. Um, and then I thought it might be fun. I usually just typically quilt in one color, um, but I thought it might be fun to try to do my quilting the same colors as the fabrics that I'm using. So I found this, um, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Curry, Curry Star um, box set. It's by Cotton Still by Sulky Threads. And it just like has the perfect colors that match my quilt. You can see um, it has the bright yellow, it has bright yellow, it has white, and then it has the royal blue and the navy. So it was like perfect. It has a couple other colors that I won't need for this quilt, but I'm sure I'd be able to use them in different quilts. So I'm really excited about this quilt. Um, I hope you guys all have fun with the quilt along. So it'll start April 7th, and I think it lasts for eight weeks. Um, I don't know if there's something, oh, okay, few. Like, is there something wrong with comedy? Hi, Tanya. I'm excited about the new quilts along. I have made two of our quilts so far and love your patterns. I have recommended your patterns and website many times. Thank you, Tanya. I'm excited that you're joining in this quilt along. It should be really fun. I'm excited to try a new color combo. I'm excited to see what you guys pick. So um, only two weeks left till it starts. So go pick out your fabrics. Um, use up your stash because I know a lot of people can't go shopping right now. There are a few um, online fabric shops that are still operational. I know stash fabrics. I looked, they're still shipping out fabric. Um, fabric worm. I got an email from them. They're still shipping out fabric. And a lot of those fabric shops are actually having sales right now because, um, you know, the economy is just bad right now because a lot of people can't work. Um, so like either try to find stuff in your stash. You could make it, um, scrappy. Like you could use all low volumes for the background color, you know, that I used in cream. You could use all like of one color for each, you know what I mean? Like, so reds, just do a bunch, all your different reds. Um, you could just make it scrappy and that way you don't have to go out. If you don't have to leave your house, that's perfect. I know some stores were doing curbside pickup, like Joann's was but I don't think they're doing that anymore just because we have been issued a um, shelter in place and a lot of other states have issued that as well. So um, either online shopping, use your stash up, because I know, I know most quilters have a huge stash of fabric. Um, I thankfully bought these like last month, I think. As soon as we announced what Quilt Along it was, I was like already trying to pick out my fabric color combo. And so I was like, oh, what do I want? And I really wanted to try something with a bright yellow with blues. So I started shopping right away. Um, but if you can't get out and shop, go through that stash. Um, and if this is your first time making a quilt, don't worry. Each week I will do a video tutorial on the steps we're doing that week. Since we are making nine blocks, we'll be going through each step. We'll be doing making the half square triangles one week. We'll be making the flying geese one week. That way I, I, I feel like it's easier to get all that one component done. Then when you go to make those blocks, it's way easier. It's just like putting squares together, putting rectangles together because those half square triangles and those flying geese are already a component, already a unit. It, it's a lot quicker. And I prefer my um, quilt alongs to be a little slower pace. That way people don't get discouraged and feel like they're running behind everyone else. So um, it might not be as like, go, go, go as other quilt alongs, which is kind of nice because a lot of people's children are at home right now. Mine are actually being very, very quiet, which is kind of suspicious. Or it's because I told them I'm doing a live video. Please be quiet. Hmm. Hopefully they're not being mischievous. Do we need to cut before April 7th? No, Norma Ray. 
Um, uh, the seventh will be the first day of the quilt along, and that's the day that we start cutting. So, if you don't have your pattern yet, that's fine. Um, so I will do a live video on the seventh, and I will give some tips about cutting your fabric and um. Um, so you don't have to start cutting until the 7th. Would love to do this in Michigan. You can do this in Michigan. It's going to be live. So all the videos will, video tutorials would, um, oh, you're saying you are in Michigan. Yes. Um, awesome. You can definitely join in. Um, I put the links, the link to my, um, blog post up in the description of this video. So if you go click on it, it kind of gives you the schedule of the quilts along and it tells you the sponsors that are sponsoring the prizes. So it's kind of exciting to have prizes this time around. Um, hopefully our mail system works. If not, I figure we'll, um, they might be delayed. I don't know if the mail is going to take longer to get places. Um, if not, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'll I'll keep the prizes and pick the winners and mail them when the mail system is going. But I don't think they'll shut down the mail system. I feel like that's an essential business. So that should be good. Do does anybody have any questions about the quilt along? Um yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I think this this pattern is for an adventurous beginner to intermediate. It's not a hard pattern. Um, we have squares, rectangles, and half square triangles and flying geese. So I'll do tutorial videos for each of those um, extra components. That way, if you have any questions, you can ask them. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to start this with you all. Start picking out your fabric. Start posting photos in the group or on Instagram with the hashtag Rainier Echoes QAL, so I can see your photos and. I'm really excited to start this with you guys. So I will jump on here on April 7th to do a live video about cutting tips. And I guess that's it. I hope you all have a great day and stay home, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys later.